On Capitol Hill today, U.S. Attorney General William Barr battles with Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee. Barr pushing back on allegations he's politicized the Department of Justice and mishandled nationwide protests. Democrats on Capitol Hill waited more than a year to confront Attorney General William Barr, so today's hearing quickly turned combative. House Judiciary Chair Jerry Nadler struck first, going after Barr for his response to nationwide protests after the killing of George Floyd. In most of these cities, the protests had begun to wind down before you marched in and confronted the protesters. And the protesters aren't mobs. Shame on you, Mr. Barr. You've conflated two different things. The, the, the effort, like legend, uh, is to deal with violent crime, crime that's committing on the streets of the city. Again, predatory violence, like murder shootings, which are soaring in some cities right now. Uh, that does not involve encountering protesters. There were also sharp exchanges on the issue of systemic racism. So you agree that there may be systemic racism? To the extent, in, in, in where? where? Uh, let me continue my line of questioning. I, I don't agree that there's systemic racism in the police department. Specifically. Generally in this country. In his prepared remarks, Barr pointed out that so far this year, more unarmed whites have been killed by police than blacks. Although the death of George Floyd at the hands of the police was a shocking event, the fact is that these events are fortunately quite rare. Barr called the movement to defund police grossly irresponsible. When communities turn on and pillory the police, officers naturally become more risk averse and crime rates soar. Unfortunately, we are seeing that now in many of our cities. Democrats criticized Barr's role in recommending a shorter prison sentence for President Trump's longtime friend, Roger Stone, before the president commuted Stone's sentence. You're expecting the American people to believe that you did not do what Trump wanted you to do when you changed that sentencing recommendation and lowered it for Roger Stone. I was not, I, I had not discussed my sentencing recommendation with anyone at the White House or anyone, or anyone outside the department. Several Democrats accused Barr of using DOJ to help President Trump politically. I'm supposedly uh, punishing the president's enemies and helping his friends. What enemies have I indicted? Who, who, could you point to one indictment that has been under the department that you feel is, is unmerited? that you feel violates the rule of law, one indictment. Republican lawmakers threw punches for Barr, accusing Democrats of trying to smear him. They also showed an edited video of violent actors infiltrating peaceful protesters.